At the end of this video, you will know everything about dates in Power Automate Desktop. You will know how to add days to a date, how to calculate today's date, and how to calculate the difference between two dates. Now make sure to watch this video to the end, because at the end of this video, I will show you how you can create any date format in Power Automate Desktop. My name is Thomas, and you're watching Tom's Tech Academy. Let's start right away. Let's start with getting today's date in Power Automate Desktop. And the activity that you're going to need is get current date and time, and you will find that activity under date and time. So take it and drag it to the workflow. Then the properties panel will open and you can choose whether you want to get the date and the time or just the date. And I'm going to go for only the date and you can also set a specific time zone. If you don't set a time zone, Power Automate will take your default time zone. Then you see here variables produced and that's where you can select where Power Automate needs to store this information. So you can click here and then let's call this one today's date. Let's save it and then let's add a display message. This one, add it to the flow. And the message that I want to display is today's date. So select it, press save and let's run a flow. I will see that the date will be displayed in an American format. And if you want to change this format, we have to add another activity. So let's search for date. And the one that you need is convert date time to text. So let's put that in between. Uh, date time to convert. That's today's date. Select it. Format to use. You can go for standard or you can modify it. So let's go to custom. And then let's define our format. And if you want to convert this date to a European date, you're going to need DD dash capital M capital M YY YY. At this moment, you see 19052020. If you want, you can also put the year in two characters, just remove two Ys. And if you don't want Power Automate to zero fill it, so you just get 19.5 or 5.5, five, five, then you have to remove these ones. And you will get something like this. You see that the variable produced is now formatted date time. And let's put that in our display message. Click Save. Let's go to our display message. And then let's change the variable to formatted date time. Select it. Just make sure that you remove this one and that you have now formatted date time. Press save and let's run the flow. And you see that today is the 31st of March 23. Okay, let's now take a look at how we can add days to a date or how we can subtract days from a date. So I'm gonna remove the date time to text and I'm also gonna remove the display message for now. So only keep the get current date and time. And then the activity that you need for both adding and subtracting days to this date is add to date time. So let's take this one and let's take our default date time and that's gonna be today's date. So let's select this one, press select. And then you can choose what you want to add. So I'm gonna add 10 and I'm gonna add 10 days. But of course you can as well add 10 hours or 10 months. Let's go for days now. You see that the variables produced is resulted date. And if you want to put that date in a specific format, we can again use the convert date time to text activity. But for now, I'm just gonna put this one in a message box. So it says for display message, put it here. And then let's put on the screen the resulted date. Let's run the flow. You see that in 10 days, it will be the 10th of April because currently is the 31st of March. If you want to calculate the difference between two dates, you can use the subtract days activity. So I'm going to drag it to here and I'm not going to calculate the number of days between the two days that we have already calculated. So the first date is going to be resulted date. So that's uh, the 10th of April. The date to be subtracted is today's date. So select that one and then we can get the difference in days, but we already know that the difference in days is going to be 10 days. So let's go for the difference in hours between the two days. And then the variable produced will be time difference. Let's save it and let's switch to our display message and, and put the difference here. So that's going to be time difference, select, save, and let's run our flow. 
And you see that 10 days difference, uh, 24 hours per day. So that's going to result in a difference of 240 hours. And at the beginning of this video, I promised you that I would show you how you can get any date format in Power Automate Desktop. And in order to do that, go to this website. You can find the link in the description. If you scroll below, you can find all the different formats that you can use. So for example, if you type in MMMM, so four M's, you can get the full name of the month and I will show that. You will see that I have a different flow here. Get current date and time, convert date time to text, display message. So if I go to the convert the date time to text, I change the format to custom. And if I type here four M's, you'll see that I get the month of May. Save, run it. And indeed you see the current month, which is March. As you can see, you can find way more abbreviations on this website and I will put the link in the description of this video. I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. I'm publishing more and more Power Automate desktop tutorials. So if you want to learn more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.